Well, hello there, and welcome back to I Have Tubbies. Let's play up the Banner Saga. What did I just click? Oops. And turn. Uh, this episode. Oh. He's gonna hit Don't kill him, don't kill him. That was close. This is episode 19. Uh, a bit more. Ah, can't do any more. Ow, it's a waste again. He can't hit him, can he? <sighs> He's standing there, he can. Gets an extra shot on us. Okay, this is the second battle in, in, in an army. We've sent the human away. I was hoping we would rejoin later on, since he's going to help with that fort, but we'll find out. I got a little bit more aggressive Play, in playing uh, with the talking with him, because I literally pushed him in the face and sent him away, so he's not happy with it. Ah! Okay, this sucks, because we're like running from him, he's kiting us. This guy's doing it too. But. Okay, come this side. Then hopefully run that way this time if he survives this. That's if he survives. And he does survive. Yes, he does. Brilliant. As long as he didn't kill. Oh! Kill you, we've got him. Okay, you need to kill him because he's getting too far away from you. Finally! Obviously, you can't hit from there. So you're going to step down a little bit. 80% do it. Ah, oh, I deflected. Can that be enough? Yes, it is. The big boss is going to kill you now. Hope you don't mind. You victory that falls lying dead at your feet. Would regret it. Oh, God, always moves too fast. Val lost 16. Fighters lost none. Clansmen not. Not a bad. We still lost lives, but it was a battle, so as we expect. 19, yes. I'm kind of glad I didn't promote uh, the human now because of this. But then again, if I get access to him in a minute, I kind of want to promote him. What in the depths are these, you wonder, looking at the unusual dredge slingers? Nobody knows without warning. A deranged and half-dead slag stumbles out of the out of, out of brushes. Oh, I guess it means like uh, bushes. Out of brushes. Out of brush. Throwing itself, throwing itself upon the yachts attached to the treasure cart. This is not going to blow us up, is it? Surprise, Val, pull weapons, but not before the whole cart slides off. Slick rock and a sheer drops. Stopped suddenly by a low growl. The enormous metal wagon dangles precisely off the cliff. From the end swings a confused yachts, still tied to its range. On top, the dredge hangs on tight, keeping the whole thing from plummeting over the slide. The side is Gunnoff, one hand white knuckling the cart, the other wrapped around a tree trunk. Tell Grun to let go. Try to help Gunnoff and hold the cart back up. Try to knock the dredge off. Um, interesting. So the cart's probably got a lot of valuables, and hence why the thing, the dredge trying to knock it off. So he don't want us to have it. Means we should want it. If I help pull it up, we still got the dress to deal with. But again, there's two of us. Because if I try and knock him off, he may drop it. Try to help go and over the cart back up. You grab the cart and pull. You barely make any ground when the tree he's holding onto tears from the ground, dragging you with terrifying force toward the edge. Uh oh. Go and order going to do the same. Shout for others to help pull it back up. Too late, the others lunge towards the cart just as it topples over the side. At the last moment, you let go, but Gunford does. Not no! What the fudge? No! No! cries the old Val. The cart plummets and flips over rocks along the way, tossing its contents across the snow. A shower of gold and gore. The yoks and the dredge are torn to shreds. Gunfoot lies motionless, his limbs splat at an unusual angle. Following the shock of Gunfoot's death. For items. That was. He just died because of items. I should have told him to let go. Fudge. Following the shock of Gunther's death, you find yourself wondering what that dredge what went after the yachts in the first place. Why? Then you realise the bigger problem is the vast fortune now lying at the bottom of the cliff. Nothing for it. There's no time to stop now. You call Uban. Try to cover it up and come back later. Leave some vow to gather and return to Strand. 
to leave some of the people to gather and then return to Strand. Try to recover Gunner's body. Yeah. The fortune's thing, but he died for that. With few options, you settle on lowering the man by rope into the valley. He shouts that the battered body of government is definitely dead. And with the, their combined weight, the rope won't hold. The, go the, the gold is scattered across the rocks and too far to reach anywhere. You face the fact that it has been a complete loss. A day later, you're back on the march with nothing to show for it. Wow. Um. Wow. Wow, I don't know what to say. That was shocking. I was expecting that. Caravan stops. God stone looming overhead for a short rest. The warriors are glad for it. The stone gives you an ancient sense of being watched over in a confront confronting way. Didn't help the bodies underneath it, though. Uh, the earth at the base of the godstone is scarred, like a struggle occurred. Merchants, no dredge, and circling da dangle are a variety of goods. A barrel of mead, who knows how old. Loose silver, a statue made of soapstone. Offerings to a dead god. Leave the dead and their offerings alone. Leave their offerings, but check for the merchant's brother. Gather whatever you can. Yeah, we need to check for the brother. In the midst of the pile of bodies, a glitter catches your eye. You fish a gold necklace out from a jerkin. From a, j a jerkin, jerkin, I guess. To find five golden rings strung on the merchant's brother. Guess he didn't make it, you mutter. Take the necklace with intent to return it. Take the necklace for yourself. Yeah, have intent to return it. You toss the necklace to Morgan and tell him to hang on to it. If anyone can tr be trusted, it's him. Don't know what made them think the God, Godstone will be safe, Morgan grunts. We're completely exposed up here, he says. We're going to rest. I think we ought to do a little further anyway. Examine the Godstone. Then it was always one of the favourites amongst men. God of God. God of good fortune. They believed he brought luck, wealth, or whatever else you wish he had, but couldn't get on your own. But you... But yeah, couldn't get on your own. The word fortune had a lot of meaning. Eventually, you move on. Wow. That's quite cool. You actually see the ones who's walking with you. I didn't really notice that before, so maybe before you have the other party members, like the humans and stuff there. Wow. And that's probably why I didn't notice it, because you can't zoom that far normally. Dude, you don't see it now. Maybe just for special areas. Get to the next location. In the distance, you see smoke rising from the trees. Dredge aren't known for setting fires, says Morgan, but it does get their attention. We'll use fires like that to lead them along in, in the Great Wars. Yeah, but they wished, wised up to, to that after a while. Interjects another warrior. No matter how you look at it, investigation will cost time. Not worth the risk, keep moving. Send some Val to take a look. Check it out yourself, yeah. I ain't gonna risk people's lives when I can't, don't have to anymore. The sounds of fighting ahead comp compel you to crash through the follow followage, sidestepping Val and dredge bodies along the way. You you burst onto the scene of carnage. A vast number of Val surrounded by dredge ex explanations can wait. You charge into fight. And he's not here to help because he's dead. Can I, by any chance, promote? No, because you're useless. You were quite good. You're the main guy, aren't you? I can promote you, though. I'll we'll do that. A bit stronger over here. Okay. Let's battle them. Oh, so I believe that he died. We were trying to find, because we were trying to get whatever was in that that chest, that cart. One, two, three, four, five. You know, we would have been five on five here. Um, one, two, three, four, yeah, five. Try to get a small one out first. Okay, you're the weak guy, aren't you? So you need to stick with us.
Wait a minute, you're fast, don't you? Yeah, you're the hero. Yeah, I'm going to do it this way, then they hopefully split up. And if they do, he's got the Tempest move to keep him at bay longer. Go for it. Nicely. Can't really Tempest there, so I'll stand here so I can do it next time. Oh, oh no, you're the hero, aren't you? Okay, I'm confused who the hero is. As much damage as you can, anyway. The guy who fell is not the hero, is he? And someone else is in charge now, because I thought I was helping him. Battering Ram. What's that do? Battering Ram knock adjacent unit up to four tiles for one armor damage. Nah. Actually, that might be worth to the big guy. Yeah. Probably would have better than the move I was going to do. Okay, the guy with the Tempest, was that the guy who fell? I thought he was the main hero. I'm getting confused who I'm supposed to be playing as now. You're Morgan. You're Haku. Because <sighs> that Tempest move was awesome. Fudge. That's even more of a blow as well then, if that's the guy has gone. It's like now, he'd be beautiful if that was him. Go... <laughs> Alright, ah, seriously, one point. Guy's gonna go down, we don't watch it. Wow, that's quite tough. Wow, I was gonna say he's doing so well defending all that, and then one hit and he goes down to one health point. It might, you know what? Everything you've got on this guy. And he deflected it. Brilliant. That's not good. And he's calling for help. Oh, he needs to be killed. And you didn't kill him. No, 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 do not turn. turn. We can need you before he calls. Okay, get here. Okay, that'll work. Beautiful. Promote with that's nice. Come on, finish the guy. That was horrible. That was horrible. Oh, fudge cake. Get young guy. Kill him, but this guy's a lot tougher. Yeah, I think that's worth the kill because he's smaller, so he didn't do as much damage. Yeah, he didn't do any damage, he just hurt my armor, so that's fine. This guy's tough, though. Okay, you go here. Ah, that's not, that's not good, that's not good at all. Ow! At least with him here, he, he, he's like. So every go is them. Well, if it's him, I think it will swap to him getting the shot every turn. So, taunt adjacent unit causing them to attack you. Oh, so but last time when he used that, he's only he was only attacking him anyway, so it was completely useless. But you can save him from getting hit. So yeah, do that. I see what's doing. But he might die to him anyway. I want to kill him now. They've got a chance to get rid of this idiot. Okay, let's go for it. Everything you've got. Wow. Everything you've got. Everything you've got. Ah! 
No! Everything you've got! Two. Everything you've got! Okay, he needs to just go for that, that armor because he can't hit him to save his life, can he? Literally. Okay, he can damage him. So he can keep attacking. Oh, no, he can't. Apparently, none of them can now. Okay, take the armor out. Armor. Ah, this is not good. This is not good. Armor. Armor. Ah, this ain't good. Armor. Armor. Okay, armor. Armor. Okay, okay, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. Both armor one more time, then we kill him. Actually, no, he's took the armor, so now you kill him. Nice one, six. And he got promoted! <laughs> Victory! Nice. Continue. Okay. Okay. Before we read this, I'm going to end the episode. So, see you next time, and we'll carry on. Zatops and goodbye.